Welcome to the Book Bag News Bulletin for March 2024, presented by me, Susie Fay. The London Book Fair continues this week at Olympia with Lem Sisso, Kit DeWall and Gavin, Gavin Esler all speaking on day one. International author of the day was Taylor Jenkins Reid from the US, publishing luminaries from Simon & Schuster, Hodder and HarperCollins all gave addresses. The long list for the International Booker Prize was announced on Monday, with fiction translated from Spanish, Italian, Korean, Portuguese, Swedish, German, Polish, Albanian, Russian and Dutch, while publishers included Europa Editions, Verso, Pushkin and Seven Stories Press. The Ukrainian author Andrei Kirkov made the cut with his offbeat crime novel, the Silver Bone, the first in the Kiev Mysteries series published by McElhose. Full details can be found on the Booker Prize website. The Oxford Literary Festival begins on Saturday and runs to Sunday the 24th of March. First day speakers include the crime novelist Cara Hunter, who dropped into the book bag last year, the poet Michael Rosen, and two debut novelists, M. Strang and Emma Hines, chaired by me. Festival speakers over the rest of the week include book bag favourite Amanda Craig, Fintan O'Toole, Booker Prize winner Paul Lynch and Booker Prize shortlisted author Chigozie Obioma, the children's author Lemony Snicket, the novelist Ali Smith and the former director of the Royal Shakespeare Company Gregory Doran. Full details are on the website oxfordliteraryfestival.org. Book bag book of the month is Charles Spencer's A Very Private School, out this week from Collins, a memoir of the abuse that he and other boys suffered while at their prep school and its ongoing emotional effect. The issues raised are creating a stir in reviews and press coverage, and Lord Spencer will be promoting the book at upcoming events, including at the Stratford and Buxton Literary Festivals. Other books out this month include Liz Jensen's memoir of about her deceased son, Your Wild and Precious Life from Canongate. No Judgment, a collection of critical essays by Laura Ogier from Virago, and a compelling Oxford set debut by Rosalind Brown, Practice, published by Weidenfeld and Nicholson. Filming continues on Dreamboat, the latest in the poet Pele Cox's series on the lives of the Romantic poets. Nicholas Rowe stars as Shelley, and this week's filming included a terrifying, realistic drowning sequence where he braved the choppy seas off Whitstable. Then mourners gathered at twilight on a lonely beach nearby to reenact the sombre scene of the poet's cremation. I played Lee Hunt and became seven takes Susie when it came to reciting Ozymandias over the flames. I got there in the end. The poet Alan Brownjohn died at the end of last month, aged 92, one of the last links with the Sylvia Plath generation. They shared a poetry prize in 1960 and also read together at the ICA, then in Dover Street. Unfortunately, in a letter, she called him a non-poet and rather dull, and even called him short. Plath was on the tall side. I've been reading his ninth collection, in the Cruel Arcade, published in his 60s. The poems are well made, skillful, perhaps somewhat prosy, and certainly not as explosive as Plath's turned out to be. Brown John was also a novelist and won the Authors Club Best First Novel Award in 1990. The long list for this year's prize has just been announced, featuring, among others, Queen Kay by Sarah Thomas, The New Life by Tom Crewe, and All the Little Bird Hearts by Victoria Lloyd Barlow. Full details are on the website authorsclub.co.uk. And that's it for this month. Join me next month in the book bag for more book news. And thanks for watching.